Did you have a good time in Prague last night? Yeah, it was fun, thanks. Got in at about two and then binged on the Real Housewives of Orange County. Oh, I'm pint-sized, baptised and highly prized. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? And to mm. Gina's obsessed. How was your night? <laughs> uh, snooze, girl. I was in bed by ten. Hmm. Better than popping pills. True that. I hope Ryan didn't cave last night. I was well impressed when he chucked it down the drain. Mate, if he'd have took that in front of me, I'd have chucked him down the drain. <laughs> I'm gonna go scab some free Wi Fi from Uncle Dave. See you in a bit. See you later. Alright. Twin wait. You were just trying to keep him out of prison. Yeah. Mission accomplished, eh? Right, alright. Thanks, Rick. I'll uh, see you next week. You're up. Hi. Hi. Is everything okay? Cormac's dead. What? Yeah. Get lost. Please. And I told him everything. Now the four of us were going to go out, and then Cormac wanted a different kind of night. I just think, what a waste. He had his whole life ahead of him. Yeah. He was a good lad. Well, he made a choice, and he paid the highest price, didn't he? I can't believe it. I know. I know. So, uh, I told him that I walked Bethany to the tram, got chips, and on the way back from the chippy, I saw you on the bench, and now you'd had a gob on about the drugs. You told them that? Well, honestly, it's the best part of the scene, So you told them that you threw your pill down the drain? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I said that we sat on the corner, jangling stuff in our faces till around 20 to 8. Is it that long? Yeah. No, it can't have been. Because I, I popped into my mum's and Auntie Gina had her hair dye on and she asked me what time it was and... I think it was 25 to 8 then. I thought it was later, are you sure? No, Ray, honestly, t 25 to 8, final answer. The thing is, I, uh, really need you to back me up. Right, it's five minutes, it's no big, eh? It kind of is, you know. Just when I rang the ambulance, the, the time. You're asking me to lie to the police. That's why your mum's there. All right, so, the thing is, when I found him, he was still alive, all right? Just about, but I panicked. And I didn't, I didn't phone an ambulance right away. Look, Sophie, Ryan was trying to protect him. He didn't want him to end up back inside. I'm just trying to do the right thing for Cormac, all right? I just panicked. Well, he would have died anyway. They think it was a contaminated batch. So why are you both still lying to the police? Because... Because the authorities won't see it that way. You know, they want someone to blame. Cormac's dad will be looking for someone to blame and all. You know he's a gangster. Right. Listen, Cormac basically killed himself. So why don't you let the police carry out the post-mortem or whatever? Your conscience is clear. You're not listening. I need you. I need you to say that we were together until 20 to 8. Sophie Ryan's done nothing wrong. He meant well. We need to protect him. I don't want to end up floating in the canal, Sophie. 20 to 8. Please. I'm begging you.